Playoff prognosis time here on Campus Insiders. Today we are talking Ole Miss. Hey everyone, I am Shea Pepler alongside our college football analyst Doug Chapman. And Doug, Ole Miss returns now the most experienced quarterback in the SEC in Bo Wallace. But what will it take for Wallace to become the best quarterback in the SEC? Yeah, but Bo Wallace is now the elder statesman, the quarterback position that? in the SEC. Bo Wallace has to be who Bo Wallace can be when they win games. He has to be more consistent. Too much up and down and erratic play. If you look at last season with what he did in wins, he completed 68% of his passes, 13 TDs versus three picks. That sounds great. But in losses, that completion percentage goes down to 59% through only five touchdowns versus seven interceptions. Has to be consistent. Lean on Laquan Treadwell, who will be one of the SEC's best wide receivers. And Laramie Tunstall up front, and that offensive line should be solid. Tunstall's got NFL first-round draft pick written all over him. Bo Wallace has to be consistent. On the other side of the ball, injuries plagued the, Re the Rebels just a season ago. If healthy this season, though, how good can this unit be under D coordinator Dave Womack, Doug? They can be extremely good. If you look at that recruiting class that they had coming in and the guys that played as true freshmen last year, led up front by Robert Kemdiche, they moved him all around, stood him up, put him at defensive tackle at the end of the year where he had success. He plays defensive end. Watch him to have a big year. All-American safety Cody Pruitt is another first-round draft pick they've got, and Tony Connor plays that Husky position. He's a star in the making. Listen to me. This may be the best defense in the entire SEC. You heard it. Ole Miss may have a better defense in Alabama, and they will be a force in the West if they can stay healthy and make plays defensively. Okay, now they're coming off a season, though, where they only went 3-5 and five in conference. So, playoff prognosis time. Doug, confidence level 1-5, and five, best defense, but where's it at for them making the college football playoff? I've got to go with the three. They'll be solid on offense. They'll be fantastic on defense. Those young stars will start to come around. And the reason why I give them a three, remember Auburn last year? Year. That's the team that came out of nowhere. Ole Miss can be that team. Look at their schedule. They open up with Boise State, Alabama, they get them at home. Auburn, they get them at home. Do not be surprised if Ole Miss is this year's Auburn. Okay, Doug Chapman with the bold statements here on Campus Insiders. Thanks very much for the insight. Well, from the Rebels to the Tigers, we discussed Les Miles LSU squad's playoff prognosis right here on CampusInsiders.com.